And if you keep on asking, I'll just keep saying so This isn't what I wanted, it is Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is a very fun and exciting video for me. It is exactly what the title says. It's why I'm choosing enlisted over officer. And yeah, if y'all are curious to know the reasoning behind it or the story behind it, then let's get started. So basically I've been trying to join the officer program for about a year now. I've been talking to recruiters and trying to get in touch with one was like one of the hardest things. And when I finally got in touch with one, I drove to South Carolina with my friend and he gave me like the information on the packet and gave me like a date that would be good to take my FOQT. So I came home, got everything ready for my packet, contacted everybody that was gonna write me a recommendation letter and was studying for the AFOQT. Like I bought one, two, three books. I can see them right there. And I took many tests, started studying, made flashcards, and was super prepared to take the AFOQT. Well, a week before I was scheduled to take the AFOQT, I got a call from a recruiter, maybe a text, I think he texted me, and said that the board in October has been canceled. So this is the second time that a board has been canceled. It, the one in March was canceled and then the one in October was can, canceled for civilians trying to become an officer. So I was a little discouraged and he told me that this month, January, that I could call him and I could see if March was canceled as well. So I don't, maybe it was March or April, I can't exactly remember when. But being discouraged, I started looking at other paths for me to take. So I thought about going to get my master's degree in clinical psychology and that would require for us to move. So we live towards one way and we would have to live towards the other way. So we would have to move about an hour away. But my husband would still only have to drop 30 minutes to work just a different route because that's where the nearest college would be. So we just decided that that would probably not be the best route for us to take. So then I started thinking like I really wanted to be a lawyer like when I was a kid. My mom always thought it was a good idea. So I started studying for the LSAT and I took the LSAT November 17th I believe. November sometime around there. It was a Saturday. I took the LSAT. Did okay. I did. I did I mean, I could get into my law school that I wanted to with this. I just probably wouldn't get a scholarship. And I really wanted to get a scholarship because I couldn't afford to take out so many loans. I didn't, I didn't mind taking them out. I just don't want to go in debt. Debt really scares me. So that path just wasn't for me either. And took the LSAT, kind of wasted my time, wasted money on that. But you live and you learn. So here recently I feel I have been feeling kind of discouraged. So I talked to my mom who I always call for for advice and she's just like, you know, like we got to talking and it always comes back down to the Air Force because I've been wanting to join for so long and she was just like talking to me about it and she was like, you know, you always go back to the Air Force, so why not go enlisted and then you can commission. So I talked to my husband about it and then we kind of did some different scenarios and all that. And basically, two days later, because that was on like a Friday night, so so Saturday and Sunday, so Monday, I contacted my recruiter and, well, he's not my recruiter, but I, talk, I contacted an enlisted recruiter and set up an appointment. So I didn't really have any questions. I just wanted to take that like mini ASVAB and measurements and weight and stuff. So I did that. I took the mini ASVAB. He took my weight and measurements. I do need to lose 15 pounds before I can do like the physical at MEPS, but I can go ahead and take the ASVAB at MEPS. But I don't really want to go to MEPS twice for basically when I can do it all at once. So I am going to lose my 15 pounds and then make another appointment with my recruiter and weigh myself and all that good stuff because I just rather do it at once. And he was okay with that. My husband said that was a good idea. So that is the route I'm gonna take. So I'm super excited about this new journey. I'm 100% confident in my decision. I've never felt more confident in my life about this decision because at the end of the day, it's about what makes me happy and this is what's making me happy. I can't sleep at night because I'm so excited and I have filmed this video probably about 20 times if we're gonna be honest 
because I talk way too fast and you can't understand me because I'm so excited. So if you want to see this process or if you have like a video you want me to film, comment down below and let me know and I'll get that filmed for you guys. And I can't wait to share this new journey with you. So I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.